We have liftoff. We've now brought the engines up to EPL. And the EFL has cleared the tower. Take normal flight control disturbances for early phase of flight. All three engines operating on point. Things to operate normally, just past 30 seconds into the mission. That's mark that we're looking for, throttling core down, and we started that sequence. Core is throttling down as expected, and we now reach an MPL on core right as planned. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Core is at min power level. Port and starboard strap on, so operating at enhanced power level. Your parameters look good. Flight control surfaces look good. We have fired the isolation pyro valve on second stage reactor control system. First step at readying that system for operation. Engines continue to look good. And we have passed through Mach 1 and Mach 2. Fired the power valve, pressurizing the reactor control system on second stage. Pressure is coming up. Everything looks good there. What we're looking for is going to close loop guides. Coming up in three or four seconds. And we've started close loop guides via maneuvering as expected. All three engines continue to look good. And we are three minutes to Corbico. And the vehicle is now one half its liftoff weight. All three engines are operating normally, everything looking good. And the vehicle is now 29 nautical miles in altitude. About 64 miles downrange, traveling at 5,300 miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. And we've just passed through the Carmen line, reaching 100 kilometers in altitude. Everything looking good. Two minutes to Corbico. Coming up on throttle down on the strap-ons. And we've begun throttling down the strap-on boosters in preparation for cutoff. We've now achieved min-power level on the strap-ons. And cutoff. We have cutoff port and starboard boosters coming up on strap-on. And we have strap-on separation. Disturbances look good. Throttled up the core booster. We're now at EPL on um, the single stage booster. And we've re enabled steering following separation of the strap ons. Everything looking good. One minute, Corbico. Yeah, housing temps respond as expected on the RL-10, and we've started LH-2 boost phase chill down. Housing temps responding as expected. Flight control disturbances are small, and the core RS-68 continues to operate as expected.
about 20 seconds to our next mark event, throttling down the core booster in preparation for PICO. And core booster is throttling down, coming up on a booster engine cutoff. And we have Biko. Cut off on the booster, everything looking good. And state operation occurred right as expected. NEDs have deployed. And we have pre start. Start and full thrust. RL-10 is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Minus 15. Row for ignition. 10. T minus 10, 10 9, 8, 8 6, 7, 6, 6 4, 5. We have ignition. 2. One. One. And liftoff of the final United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying NROL-70 for the National Reconnaissance Office and closing Delta's six-decade legacy of excellence in space. Or is that min power level? Port and starboard strap on, still operating at enhanced power level. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent Your data. Parameters look good. Like control surfaces look good. And we have fired the isolation pyro valve on second stage reactor control system. First step at readying that system for operation. Continue to look good. And we passed through Mach 1 and Mach 2. Normal strips there, everything looks good. All three strips operating as expected. Operating as expected. Everything looks good. And we fired the power valve, pressurizing the reactor control system on second stage. Pressure's coming up. Everything looks good there. What we're looking for is going to close loop guides. Up in three or four seconds. And we start a close loop guide. We are maneuvering as expected. All three engines continue to look good. 